Week one of the high school football season is in the books, and that provided a pretty good glimpse of some of the top teams here in the Valley. These are the teams we think will compete for a conference crown or could make a long playoff run in this short season. So let's get right to it with our WKBN Power Rankings. At number 10, West Branch. The Warriors played their arch rival in week number one and rolled over them. Senior quarterback Brock Hillier was on fire. He completed 30 passes to 10 different receivers and racked up over 350 yards in the air against Salem. Moving on to number nine, McDonald. Fast start to the season for the Blue Devils. They made quick work of Sebring last Thursday. In fact, McDonald led 40 to nothing at halftime before calling off the dogs. Big 22 veteran Dom Shadle rushed for 119 yards and accounted for four touchdowns in that win. Our number eight ranked team is LeBray. The Vikings lit up the scoreboard last week, hanging 42 points on Camel in week number one. Junior quarterback Aiden Stevens accounted for five touchdowns in that win. He ran for two, threw for two, and returned a kick for a score. Next up, LeBray will host Brookfield in our WKBN Game of the Week. We will broadcast that entire game live on MyYTV. Number seven on our list is Hickory. The Hornets haven't played a single game yet, but they are definitely one of the teams to beat in Western Pennsylvania. Hickory got nearly 2,500 yards from quarterback Michael Henwood alone last year, and the Big 22 veteran is back for more this season with the same weapons around him. Hickory will open the season on September 11th against Grove City. Moving on to number six, Ursuline. The Irish battled through some awful conditions last Friday night and still walked away with a win against a very good Cheney team. Quarterback Brady Shannon threw three touchdown passes in that victory, so Ursuline, a team that won just two games last year, is off to a perfect start this season. They'll try and make it two in a row this Friday night against Austin Town Fitch. Number five in our power rankings this week, South Range. Talk about a statement game. Wow, what a start to the season for the Raiders. They knock off a really talented Poland team in week number one. Quarterback Mike Patrone rushed for over 120 yards and scored twice in that win. Now South Range sits atop the NE8 with a trip to Girard coming up on Friday. How about number four on our list, Austin Town Fitch. The Falcons came roaring out of the gates last Saturday night with a 30-point win against their biggest rival, Boardman. Junior quarterback Devin Sherwood threw five touchdown passes to five different receivers in that victory and gave T.J. Parker his first win as head coach of the Falcons. We'll see if they can keep things up this Friday night against Ursuline. Our number three ranked team is Farrell. The defending state champs have plenty of talent returning this season and their sights are set on a third consecutive state title. Junior running back Anthony Stallworth rushed for over 1,700 yards last season and returns to a team where the offensive line averages 300 pounds. The Steelers have won 10 or more games five years in a row. Only the limited number of games this season can put that streak in jeopardy. We stay in Western PA for number two, Wilmington. The Hounds have big expectations this year, and rightfully so. They won 12 games in a row last year, including five shutouts. And this year, 17 of those 22 starters are back. And consider this, Wilmington will play six games this year against three teams. Greenville, Sharpsville, and Farrell. And all three of those teams failed to score a single point against the Hounds last season. And finally, our number one ranked team is Springfield. The Tigers were one win away from a state championship last season, and they are off to a strong start this season. Springfield rolled over Mineral Ridge in week one, 45 to seven. They racked up over 440 yards of total offense with junior quarterback and reigning Big 22 Player of the Year, Bo Brungard leading the way. The next two games may be the toughest on their schedule this year though, with Western Reserve and McDonald. But for now, Springfield is our number one team in our WKBN Power Rankings.